As demonstrated with the Quran claiming Christ never died on the cross, Allah uses deception on many people, including his own. In the verse demonstrated, it even goes on to say that he is the greatest at it. Surah 3 verse 54, translated Pictal. And they, the disbelievers, schemed, and Allah schemed against them. And Allah is the best of schemers. English translations of the Quran most times than not say best of schemers. But when we look at the Arabic Quran, the word for schemers is al makarin We find that the root word makar also means cunning, crafty, subtle, and deceitful. When looking at the Bible, we can see these attributes not described for the Lord. Quite the opposite, as demonstrated with Genesis 3 verse 1. We find explicit verses detailing that it is impossible for God to lie. It is not a part of his holy and all-powerful nature, especially to cause deception on his own people. Titus 1 verse 2 In hope of eternal life, which God, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. Other passages, such as Numbers 23 verse 19, 1 Samuel 15 verse 29, Psalm 89 verse 35, and Hebrews 6 verse 18, makes it clear that God cannot lie ever, as lying is both illogical and sinful. Jesus makes it very clear in John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, in which one should get to know the Son of God through Scripture, the King James Bible, where the Hebrew Scriptures demonstrate in Ecclesiastes 8 verse 4, where the word of a king is, there is power along with other verses that demonstrate the authority of the king's word. God doesn't need to deceive anyone. Neither can he be deceived in his omnipresence. And he calls all to know him who is the way, the truth, and the life.